Wednesday before Thanksgiving. We're back out in the garage. I would wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving, but I'm sure I'll have a Thanksgiving video. Decided to go through the eight tracks a little bit here. Found the cars one. Got some good stuff in here. There's one I'm not allowed to say. We got some Ramones, some Super Tramp, Eagles, Meatloaf, James Taylor, Aria Speedwagon. We have Sesame Street Fever. How cool is that? We have Foreigner, Aerosmith, Kiss, Ace Freely, more Cat Stevens, I don't know if I said that before. Joe Jackson, Early Cream. Bruce Springsteen. Whoops, I don't know what the label went on that one. And I got three more things up there. So, I think we'll listen to the cars. We got Elect ELO, Electric Light Orchestra, uh, Out of the Blue. That's the best one ever. Houses of the Holy. Just Led Zeppelin, straight up. Fleetwood Mac. Live. So, I got a big case of eight tracks up there, all the way at the top. Back in the 70s, I used to listen to these with my buddy when we used to cruise around. Still got them. So, okay, we're gonna get back on this. Uh, where we left off was here. I should have shrunk the fender. I'm gonna try it a little different next time. The only thing I had was my torch that we use to sweat pipes. I'm gonna get one of those little, I got one at work. I'm gonna buy one for home. The little, um, little torches that have that little micro flame on it. I'm gonna try that to heat and shrink because that's the way I see it done. The other one just does too big of an area. So, I'm gonna move some of these magnets. These magnets are picking up metal from everywhere. So. <laughs> I was wondering why this one doesn't stick well. It's got all the brown things in there. It's got all the other things, that's why. But, uh, I mean, look how fuzzy these things are. They're like, oops, they're like chia pets. Look at this thing. So, I guess every time I see them, they get sucked on there. So, I'm going to uh, do a little more tack welding here. I think I'm going to finish up the top row and do whatever. Uh, I know it was suggested to me the other day that maybe I should skip around. What I did was, down here I started working my way up. Then when I got to like here, that's when I started skipping like I was taught. You know, I was always told like you do this and like skip an inch, an inch, whatever it is. And that's when the big problem started. So, I don't know. I'll give it my best shot. We got nothing to lose. Except the 6C batteries that are turning that baby. Well, we're getting there. Cut it all, bird shit it up here and here. Here. This is where it was high before. It started to get high right there. So. And I didn't even finish. I just did a little whatever. But uh, I'm going to continue on. The warpage is under control. Other than that area. So, like I said, I'm going to probably heat shrink this whole section of the fender to the best I can. I'll work on it with a real straight edge. And uh, let's see where we go. So, the fender's got to go up a little. So, yeah, I did it right to the brace. After I get this fully done, I'll take that uh, brace off. Actually, I'll probably weld from here down put the stay on, the fender stay, then I'll take the brace off. So let's see if we can get this tacked on today and call it done. A lot of work ahead of us. <laughs> and we got no more music. If anybody ever had an 8-track play, you know what I mean. It's amazing how much of the tape it'll suck in. I think the whole tape is in there. Here, going across the head. It's like a clown pulling that handkerchief out. 
Are you kidding me? There you go. I used to actually take these things apart to fix them. And now I just want to save the case, the cost case. So, that's the last tape we put in that thing. That's the last tape we put in this thing. This thing has become a shelfer. Maybe we'll sell it at the next swap meet. You get my five bucks back. Okay. I'm gonna find some music and I'm gonna keep getting welding. My ankles are burned. And that's it, it's fully welded and partly ground. It's it here, it fills in a couple of holes there. This is fully welded. Took the brace off, filled in that little molding, whoops, molding hole. Fully welded in the patch to the bottom. Gotta grind it. Definitely got to do a little heat and shrinking. You know what? I need to practice, but I got to bolt this fender on first right here. Because I actually see it go up too. Do that, that. I want to justicate this corner right here on the fender. So we'll get this thing fully bolted on. And uh, I got to get a longer straight edge. I got to determine what's high spots and what's low spots. But I'm definitely a little high right here. And I'm a little low right here. This can't change. <laughs> That's part of the metal brace. So I seem to stay good here. I stayed in good all the way up to here. This definitely dipped in a little here. So we'll bring that back out. So look at it. You can see this sticking out. It's just not bolted on. Well, it's bolted on the bottom and in the fender uh, under the hood. So. That's it. Make a nice rat rod fender. So, like I said, I forgot to bring home those discs again. So, and the big discs I'm using, I don't have a big holder for. So, I'm calling it for tonight, guys. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. I may putts out here a little bit in the morning, but I doubt it. Take a break. So, and then I gotta determine what I'm gonna do with that front edge there. So I haven't really thought about it. And then I gotta pop the fender off. I might just trim that little section out, make a little patch too. So I only have to really metal finish one side of it. You don't see the back side of it. The grill screw's here. And that hole is just for the tip of it to go through. If you use the shorter screw, you don't even need the hole. But, and that hole in the back, for the headlight harness, right next to the emu egg. And most of you guys never saw my emu egg. That thing laid in my refrigerator for two years before I decided to open it and use it. There's a video on that too. And believe it or not, if it was bad, I couldn't tell. It looked like a regular old, you know, egg, except a lot bigger. So, yeah, I was there the day that, that egg was laid. And then right after that, the uh, both the emus, the male and the female, were donated to um, Yale University up in Connecticut, where they did research on their reproductive organs, if you could believe it. I don't know. <laughs> so that was one of the last eggs they laid. Well, that's it. I'm calling it quick.